what we'll do now is we'll just have a sort of little flick through the gallery, which I hope will be of interest to you, just because it's stuff, even when it is published stuff, I don't think you'll have seen it quite in this situation. Here's E.J. Sue's first pencil sketch of Verity. So, you know, sort of that was where we started with, even long before issue zero, just getting the human characters uh, signed off, really, with, internally within ourselves. And, you know, this, is, this was my first introduction to E.J.'s work. So, you know, I was, I was immediately very sort of caught by his style, which I really liked. And here's a little bit of something you don't see very often, because E.J. often doesn't bother hardly with the pencil stage and, you know, works completely either in computer or straight to inked artworks. But because we were sort of tr almost trying him out to an extent on the book, you know, Chris Ryle and myself both wanted to see the whole process of issue zero evolve. So here's some of E.J.'s pencils from that. And, you know, it was a strange thing for EJ who, you know, came on to draw Transformers and issue zero has, you know, maybe two Transformers in it. So, you know, it was quite a, a gamble in many ways to sort of start off this, this new thread of Transformers with so few Transformers in it and actually concentrate on our human cast. So, Stormbringer, this is, again, something you don't see very much of, Don's pencils, but it's amazingly how, you know, so artists are differ. You, you see with EJ's stuff that the pencils are very loose. He doesn't sort of bother putting too much of the fine detail in there. It's more like breakdowns than actual finished pencils, just because so much of his stuff goes in ink. But with Don, you really could almost, you know, print from his pencils. They're so detailed. <laughs> 